hi guys welcome back to another video on my channel i am so excited to have you here again if you're new here welcome my name is great i'm waiting here in this video guys we'll be talking about how to use the um healthcare category based route to come to canada as a support worker if you've been following the recent trends in, in the canada express entry profile you will know that the scores are really really high probably you've not been fully in and this is like your first time hearing about it the scores are pretty pretty high now and um, i have like a uh, step-by-step -step video on how to come to canada as a permanent resident you might want to go watch that video just to gain a better understanding like the foundational understanding right before you watch this one or maybe after watching this one you go watch this one but i'll link it up here so now the scores are very very high but um with the category based drills which um includes the healthcare category french category a grid based category transport based category stem based category and um, there's one other one i know i'm missing did i mention french i really cannot remember now so these are the category based drills and with these lots of people who find themselves having one or two um, advantages in this area have been using this to come to uh, canada just to beat that high express entry score now let's go on to the things that you need to have the necessary things you need to have first before you can consider creating a profile and taking advantage of the healthcare category. The first thing would be you have at least one year of experience as a support worker. And the next thing you would need to have would be the ability to get a reference. Like you must be working in a healthcare role or probably you've worked in a healthcare role and you're now doing some other thing. It's like a credible reference to show that you did this job and the job, your job duties aligns with the job description for that particular NOC. Some people I know who have used this route, the NOC, I know I've gotten this question, so the NOC they use as a support worker is NOC 33102, which is one for nurse aides and other leads. But you really need to ensure that the job description for this NOC fits well with whatsoever duties you undertook as a support worker or whatever duties you are you're currently undertaking as a support worker in the UK. Okay, now, on to the next thing. The next thing you need to have, we've talked about one year of experience, at least one year of experience, right? Later, I'll tell you why you need to have that one year of experience. The next thing I'll, I, we've talked about is the reference, ensuring that you have a credible reference. And then the third thing would be you will need to take the IELTS test. You'll need an IELTS test that it's not up to two years to be able to create a profile. And then after the IELTS, Please, as you're taking the IELTS, ensure. I know that, yeah, the um, category based drawers, the scores are not so very high, but you know, for some people, they are, they've lost so many points to age. Now, if you want to understand how people lose points to age, you still need to go watch my uh, step by step process uh, express entry video, which I'll be linking here again. After um, taking the IELTS, would be ensuring that you've evaluated your certificate. So, I would also usually advise people to take the west first to do the west first or to evaluate a certificate first i don't know which body you want to use but the popular one is west i would advise people to evaluate this first before probably when they're doing that then they'll be practicing for their um IELTS because sometimes west evaluation takes time okay guys here let's take a breather by taking this breather can you please take a take a few seconds or just one second to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button there it's not hard just click on it okay have you done that all right now we can continue one thing you should know is that it doesn't matter what your previous degree is in what field is in if it's not related to healthcare people change career right you might have been working as a banker before but you decided to go into healthcare if you have a banking degree if you have um an engineering degree just evaluate it they just need you to have a degree these are the major things you need your ielts your waste evaluation, your certificate evaluation or degree evaluation, and then at least one year of work experience. But to get a maximum point for work experience, you will need to have three years of work experience, but you mustn't have that just from the healthcare work you're doing. 
you can also include your work experience from previous fields from other fields let's get to the creating a profile point you put your necessary information they will ask you personal information and other things you ask information as regards um your um education there you need to put your education whatever degree you have put it there I do not really know. Someone asked me recently about having a HND. Probably I will just make research as regards this and come to do a video for people that have a HND. Put all the education you have done, whether master's or a bachelor or probably PhD, just put everything there. Then they would ask you if you've evaluated your certificate. When you're evaluating a certificate or when you're registering to evaluate your certificate with waste, if you have a master's degree, that's what they will concern themselves with. They will not bother with the bachelor's because master's is higher than bachelor's. If you have a PhD degree, they will not bother with master's or bachelor's because PhD is higher than the previous two. You've put your education experience, then they will not ask you for your work experience. You will get to the field where they will ask you for your work experience. So if you have previous work experiences, put them there. Whether 10 years or 6 years or 20 years, put them there. Then you also have your work experience for the support work, put it there. After that, the system will ask you which of the jobs you want to base your application on. Of course, because you want to take advantage of the healthcare or because you want to take advantage of whatsoever um, category based job, you will put that the job that is related to that category. And in this case now is the healthcare. I'll always advise people to try to get information about the recent healthcare jobs just to know what the last draw or what the last call was like for healthcare or the previous cause was like or what the previous cause um came up to so when you see your final score you will get to know where you stand and what chances you have before you start i'll advise you to simulate your profile just to give you an idea of what you will score i'll be putting the simulation the link to that will lead you to where you can just put in information and simulate just like a simulation um process gives you an idea of what you are likely to score so when you compare that with the recent scores for the or with the recent drills for the healthcare um, category you would have an idea of what chances you have or where you stand and when you're using the simulation um, um, window where they ask you um, if you have tests if you've taken any tests you put yes it's a simulation and if your test and is less than if your test is less than two years you put yes and um what's your score just try to go in between the scores first start with the highest if i choose the highest scores for all the competences what what score what points will you give me if i choose the lowest or probably i don't want to push myself too much i know it's dicey i'm not so i don't have strength for ielts i put like the medial scores I choose media scores, what will it be? Just for you to know what your point to be like. I just want this video to be a short one. I hope it really helps. If you have questions, send me a DM on Instagram and when I'm able to, I would um, respond to you. I try to respond to all my DMs um, on Instagram. It might take time sometimes, but when I'm able to, I respond to my DMs. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you and until the next time, bye-bye.